Now, green spaces are increasingly emerging in our cities as the movement towards creating edible gardens grows. Author and balcony garden grower Indira Naidu is the author of a new book, The Edible City. She met our reporter Rachel Papazzoni at one of Sydney's most successful rooftop gardens. Australia's population continues to grow and we're filling our cities to the max and one of the problems of course is where do we produce all our food. Now community gardens are popping up around our cities and they're a way for people to come together and uh, share their experiences and of course grow food and one of the people who's uh, really jumped on this uh, and sees the, the great benefit in it is author Indira Naidu and you're releasing a new book exactly about these. What's the benefit of these community gardens? I think one of the things that's really exciting for me is that um, you don't need much space. What we're walking through at the moment is the wonderful Wayside Chapel's rooftop garden. We've only got 200 square metres here, but we grow enough food in all these black tubs to feed our community, to support our cafe downstairs. So we get quite a few kilos of produce every month. So I think that's the thing that people are often surprised at. They think we need big, huge, you know, wide acre cropping farms to grow our food. But as you can see, we can grow especially all our herbs and lettuces in these small containers so that's what excites me you can adapt this model to rooftops to the sides of roadsides um, on verges uh, dig up the tennis court at your school and plant some plants there as well um, and that's one of the things that my book the edible city is all about showcasing how simple it is to look at your urban space just slightly differently and think instead of having concrete there why don't I have a garden the time I spend in gardens like these is my social connection time as well. So as well as all the benefits of a green space, helping our environment, growing food that doesn't have chemicals, that's organic, it's a time for me to connect with my neighbours and make real important social connections. And I think that there's a real thirst out there, which is driving the community garden uh, movement in Australia, that people want to know their neighbours, they want to feel safe, they want to um, help and support each other. And community gardens uh, create these spaces where they that can happen. And as you mentioned, we're here at the Wayside in Sydney and, and this is a, a real community here that um, is obviously producing food but also uh, then turning that into into food that it's it's helping people in the community. Absolutely. Uh, most of the work that happens in this garden is done by our homeless visitors. So it's an important environment where they can learn about food, enjoy a green space, and then they also get taught um, how to produce and, and cook that food in nutritious ways as well. And Wendy Suma, you work here uh, at the Wayside Chapel. What benefits do you see for the community? Uh, you, you must see them every day. Absolutely. I mean, we're just a few uh, floors up from the crazy the streets of King's Cross you know lots of people know about the noise and busyness of this area and yet here it's an oasis so people come up here and they feel like they've entered another world they get engaged in learning to look after things and care for things and it's quite surprising the people who've planted something and then raced back the next day to see if it's doing well and you know lavish their love and attention on something and learn to to trust and love again. Well this is just one of the gardens that's featured in your new book and looks at the wayside and a number of gardens in Melbourne as well. Yes, a beautiful um, bush tucker kids garden in Waterloo, um, a lovely retirement garden in Taramurra and then in, in Melbourne a refugee and asylum seeker garden and then an amazing uh, restaurant that's built a worm farm on top of their restaurant in Melbourne as well. So some wonderful ideas that I hope other people in the community and other businesses will go well if they're doing it why can't we? Exactly, so there's no excuse if you've been thinking thinking about planting your own community garden or indeed a garden on your balcony or on, on your front verge, there are definitely ways to do it. Nice to see it all happening that way.